sudden cardiac death basically is uh, defined as a uh, sudden unexpected death uh, due to a change in the cardiac rhythm. It flutters or it quivers and to the degree that uh, the heart becomes inefficient, the cardiac output will be reduced and the person will collapse and, and if treatment is not instituted uh, early enough, the person will obviously uh, perish. The reason for the sudden cardiac death and why the heart stops is because sometimes when you block off the artery, uh, majority of time you just get pain and then you still get pain, your heart is still beating and you still can come to a hospital. But in sudden cardiac death, what happens is that you block an artery, it affects the electrical activity of the heart. Our heart goes into what we call an electrical storm or we call it ventricular fibrillation and the heart stops. Many patients prefer the options of actually going for either medications or angioplasty rather than bypass surgery because they are very elderly, they are very frail, they may not be suitable for bypass operation, they have kidney failure or previous strokes, in which case it would favour a less invasive approach like angioplasties and can be done within an hour or two and often get discharged the next day. High blood pressure is very commonly called the silent killer. A lot of us have high blood pressure, but we don't know it, we don't realise it, because blood pressure on its own um, does not cause any symptoms. Before it's too late, you get a heart attack or a stroke. Heritary, also called genetic factor, do increase our risk of getting heart attack. For example, you've got the strong family history of high cholesterolemia, or you've got the strong family history of the cardiovascular disease, namely heart attack or stroke. If you're male more than 45 years old and you're female more than 55 years old, the safest way is to come for a regular medical checkup, whereby we'll draw blood to find out whether you've got any diabetic or high cholesterol. Then we'll at least put you on the treadmill to assess the health condition of your heart. If the patient has a classical symptom, even though the stress is just normal, we still will advise the patient for further tests like CT, coronary angiogram. For anyone who suspects they have heart attack, the first thing is to seek the medical advice immediately. If you have an aspirin at home, first thing is to swallow the aspirin. If possible, they should actually call the ambulance or get their spouse to drive them immediately to the hospital. Never drive yourself. Of course, the first and most important thing is getting people to stop smoking. That's probably one of the most important things you can do as a patient. Um, there will be medications for them to take because after you insert a stand, they need to take blood thinners for at least a year. They have high cholesterol, they need to be on a statin, they need to control their blood pressure, their sugar parameters, they need to have a healthy diet, exercise regularly. Sunway Medical Centre is, is in the forefront of uh, heart disease and heart care. In Malaysia, really, we do have virtually all the necessary technologies to treat patients. We have uh, very good collaborations with uh, uh, Pebble Hospitals, which is the uh, uh, cardiac uh, centres for Cambridge Universities. So it's a teaching hospital, uh, it is a research uh, hospital. They have obviously a very good track record because it is affiliated to uh, Cambridge University. They clearly has a huge clinical database mainly because certain conditions like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is more prevalent in the Western world, like in the UK, whereas in the Asian countries, including Malaysia, we see less of that. Uh, that's not to say that we don't see them, but if we do see them, we do not have enough genetic pool to correlate the uh, conditions that our patients suffer compared with the data that they have over there. Time is of the essence. The quicker you go in, the larger the amount of muscle of the heart we can save. So every minute counts. So the quicker we go in, the faster we can save the patient.